What's going on zombies community? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. Today we're going to be taking a look at Black Ops 4 Zombies in the map called 9. We got a new trailer that just came out featuring Avenged Sevenfold. They're a great artist. You should definitely check that video out. It'll be down in the description box below under my sources. But if you go on to enjoy this breakdown, drop a like on today's video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. There's so much involved in this trailer and it was long so I'm excited man. Hit me up over on Twitter, at Violent, if you want to continue talking zombies, multiplayer, or blackout. So we're going to kick things off today talking about the storyline recap behind 9. This is Coliseum Zombies, because I know you zombies fans out there are just fiending at the mouth to wondering what is going on right now with this Coliseum Zombies map. Well, our four characters, Diego, Scarlet, Shaw, and Bruno, are on a quest to find answers. Now, this map is out of order. The map is called Nine, so it might be our ninth map in the order of our Chaos storyline. So be prepared for that. They come across the cave in which a mysterious voice speaks to them, saying, To find answers, you must breathe deeply of these vapors. They all do so as a team, and it consumes them. Their eyes turn black, and they have entered a simulation back in time. I don't know if the outer part of this zombie simulation is open world, but I'd like it to be just in case we come across vapors in a cave. Kind of makes sense that the outside might be like headquarters or something. I'm not sure. They did state that headquarters was not going to be a feature in Black Ops 4, but if it is open world outside of that, I'd be in favor. But in 9, these vapors take them back in time to a different location where an ancient ritual is taking place where they have to survive. Now in every great storyline there is an antagonist and a protagonist and right now our four characters are who we're following. These were our protagonists. An antagonist would be the enemy and the only enemy that we really see is this masked man who has the ability to begin this ritual. He has a ton of followers and I don't quite understand who he is so let's talk about what we know. Jason refers to the mysterious bald man as another character in Voyage of Despair where this rich, same ritual takes place. I'm curious to know who we're seeing at the start of the ancient ritual in this map 9. All we know is that he seems to have a lot of followers and has brought slaves into the Colosseum to be sacrificed. I don't think the audience in the Colosseum was affected by this ritual because Craig Houston did state in a past interview that based on how the players are performing, the crowd will interact with you. The new series of comics are a prequel story to how the characters came to be and are connected. They are all connected to a person called Alexter Rhodes, who is Scarlet's father. But the other three characters are connected through him. As the storyline progresses, we'll find out how Alexter Rhodes met Diego, Shaw, and Bruno. The DLC season and of course more maps will help shape our opinions of them. Are they good guys? Are they bad guys? We just need to learn more at this point. But I can tell you right now that this masked man seems like a psycho. <laughs> Next up we got zombie bosses. The first one is a zombie tiger. Just comes at you and there's going to be a lot of them. So we got to look out for that. Another one busts through walls. It seems like the environment is quite breakable. But this one here is a knight and he's wielding two axes. That's how you know he's the knight character. There's one other character that looks exactly like him that's just as badass but he's got claws. And he comes in running at you really fast and tries to stab you. So... You can see Shaw here running for his life. This man right here is a brute. So we're going to have quite a few different types of boss zombies that we got to look out for. Some bigger than others, but this looks like a, quite a lineup. And just like many boss zombies, you'll be just in the middle of a round killing zombies, and right behind you will spawn another one. This one here is called the Blight Father. This was the one featured in the Blackout map on Asylum. Right next to it, there was a cemetery, right, in Blackout. If you were playing the beta, you know what I'm talking about, but that one there is tough to take down. Now, this zombie boss I saw was kind of interesting. He pops out of the chest of a zombie. I don't know what triggers it, but he's some sort of acid mutated mummy type zombie let me know what you think about that but this is just some of the features that we got to talk about there's a lot more yet to come let's go ahead now and talk about wonder weapons so before we take a look at all four weapons let's have a look at the mystery box the mystery box is going to represent this this was the special edition the highest edition you could buy too you get a replica 
but we also got a first-hand look at Pack-a-Punch. It might be just a part of the map because they need you to Pack-a-Punch in order to survive these waves, rounds. Uh, but this is Pack-a-Punch. It's like a mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Take my weapon. I got one, boys. <laughs> you know, that's what he's doing right there. This might be hinting emotes. I don't know. But the first wonder weapon we're going to be taking a look at, it might be a special weapon, is called the Scepter of Raw. It burns foes and heals allies by shooting a focused beam of energy. But that's not all. The Scepter of Raw also makes reviving allies a snap. This next one gets me really excited. The Hammer of Valhalla. Sending foes flying with the Hammer of Valhalla. In case you miss or your buddies need a buff, protective armor regrows with each strike and is applied to nearby allies when activated. Every character can wield that special weapon. Dude, this gets me so pumped. I cannot wait to use the Hammer of Valhalla and just wreck stuff. Look at this man going ham right here. He bashes this other one straight into a wall. Dude! This next one's kind of unique. It's called Viper and Dragon. Shoot a Fury mid-range blast with one hand, or take a swipe with an extendable sword that acts like a bladed whip. This one sounds insane, but look at the damage that it causes. You can do some serious work with this sucker. And the fourth special weapon is called the Chakram of Vengeance. Why settle for one target? The Chakram automatically ricochets towards others when thrown. So it's a boomerang blades. That's insane. This one looks so good. But shout out to the new melee knife. If you didn't see this in the trailer, there's a really short clip of him stabbing a zombie into a wall. One hand pushing the zombie into the wall and the other going ham with the new blade. So, a lot of new ingenuity when it comes to gameplay features. Look at these zombies bust through a wall barrier. And as they see everybody shooting at them, they smash into this other wall and try to come back. Uh, there's new moves that you can do when a zombie tries to swipe at you. One of those boss zombies we talked about comes down with his axe and you can sort of maneuver around it. I love the new combat features. You can see Bruno performing a block and also when a zombie can come over your shoulder I guess you can shoulder swipe them over and, and shoot them. So a lot of new cool things that are happening in zombies that we've never seen but perhaps the biggest instance was this little dude right here. He's a voodoo doll that we can hold and inject with an adrenaline needle and bring him back to life. I imagine he's something we could pick up on the map as loot. I mean, how else are you going to get this guy? He's the new monkey bomb, right? I would assume he's like a monkey bomb. And then you just chuck him out there and he does his thing. What do we even call this thing? The voodoo doll. I'm just going to call him a voodoo doll that becomes alive. But I got an update for you on elixirs. We actually have footage now from this trailer of the Avenged Sevenfold music video. One that's absolutely confirmed is Pop Shocks. And we're going to talk about this here in a second. But the leaks that were just talked about in my last video, if you haven't seen that, check the description box below. It'll be the top link there. All about this and how they actually work. But I'll do a brief overview of what we're seeing now in the new leaks. It seems like our new HUD is going to be a four-way HUD for these elixirs. I've recently seen some pre-alpha gameplay of Blood of the Dead on Reddit. And it showed this as the HUD. The four-way, every one on your directional pad, your D-pad will be used for one of the elixirs. And it'll look like what the gobble gums do. Interesting. In Black Ops 3 we could only activate one gobble gum, so why would we need four buttons on our D-pad to be activating these elixirs? Doesn't quite make sense, so that leak might be false. I'm very suspicious of it, but that's sort of the overview of what it was presenting to us with our new D-pad. So take it with a grain of salt. This map is actually a lot bigger than you think. There are three different layers underground of this Colosseum, and there's a lot more to be discovered. I know without a shadow of a doubt, this is going to be the map that I play first. I'm going to be putting the most time into this map because I think it's just going to be the most fun overall. I'm excited for Mob of the Dead, Voyage of Despair, not so much for Classified. I could kind of care less about a 5 remake, <laughs> unless it's really good, but... I don't really care about that. I'm excited for these other three maps, but 9 is looking to be the most fun, and I can't wait to just see what these characters are about. Somehow they're all connected through Scarlet's father, Alexter Rhodes. I'm excited to see what this journey has to offer as we learn more about that process, 
and where this map lies in the entire timeline of the Chaos story. If you learned something today, be sure to drop a like on the video, and activate push notifications by activating the bell icon at the top of the channel. That way you're staying up to date with all my latest uploads, and I'll catch you in the next video. Smiling out.